2K Sports, in association with the PGA Tour, is delighted to present the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. Today's coverage of the AT&T Pebble Beach Pro-Am is about to begin. Pleased you could join us for this third round action. Luke Elby alongside Rich Beam. And Rich, this player's been playing some impressive golf. They've got the lead. They're where they want to be, but what should be their mindset going into this round? Well, hopefully it's not on the chasing pack because the chasing pack is filled with some big names. So they're going to have to really bear down, focus on the task at hand. They've got to sit there and keep their emotions to themselves and not get wrapped up in everybody else around them. Oh, I've got those special chills up the spine. I know today's going to be a beauty. Let's get into it. Not bad. And he's down there. Setting up from about 130 yards out. And not a bad approach. He'll be putting. A chance for a birdie if this goes down. It's a lengthy putt, will hold. Can't birdie them all unless you birdie the first, Luke. Good start. He sits in first position. Looking at a par five here. Luke. Coming off a birdie at the last hole, this player finally is making something happen. Looking forward to the next hole, but danger lurks if they're not careful. Oh, just absolutely abused the golf ball there with that shot. Time for the second shot here on the second hole. Going with the hybrid. This one looks to be heading towards the green. Well, that'll work up on the dance floor. Could have been worse. John, talk to us. What do you got for us? Hey guys, we're checking in with Xander Shoffley as he gets set for his next shot here on the 14th. And there it goes from the sand. Okay, let's get back to it, shall we? These putts really add up at the end of the day, right on 12 feet. See, that line was looking good, wasn't it? Oh, this will be good for the momentum. Let's make this birdie putt. The putt drops, and that's back-to-back -back birdies. Gotta like it. Two in a row. Currently in first position. Here we are at the third. Could roll into the rough on this one. This lie won't be too bad in the first cut.
Going with the pitching wedge here. Wow, did this come out beautifully. Uh, that's disappointing. And missing it long with that approach, not a good leave. Great touch. Really nicely played. Great touch. Yeah, good job. Nice par. Managing to maintain their position on the leaderboard after that effort. This hole is a par four. This hole is so important at this critical time. Go for it, lay it back. How much do you trust your swing? Good shot there. Time for the second shot here at the fourth. Well played, mate. This putt's about four feet from the hole. That's a fast start if I've ever seen one, Rich. That is definitely a confidence builder. Let's head out to the 16th hole. Here's Xander Shoffley. Oh, wouldn't that have been nice? Nice soft hands around the green. What a skill to have. Judging it beautifully. Our current leader is enjoying an eight stroke advantage. It's time to step on the tee here at the fifth. <laughs> Opting for the five iron. Oh, well played. John, what's going on? Talk to us, Goose. Hey, guys, we're checking in with Xander Shoffley as he gets set for his next shot here on the 17th. Oh, that's great. It just missed the hole. <laughs> oh, stop it. What a way to make your par. Oh, a messy little lie in the bunker, but that is not a problem for this player. Yes, in the hole. There's 17 feet remaining to the hole. Looking for another birdie here. Well, oh, that's a nice line. Well, you're going to be hard to catch now if you keep making putts like that. Got to say, Putting this well from this distance is a huge confidence booster. And still in top spot after that hole. Keep it going. Here we are at the sixth hole. That's nicely done. Keep focused on that flag while playing to this elevated green. That was special. So exciting to have an eagle putt here. Super shot that. 
Well, this player's mighty fine. Their lead is now nine after that performance. Let's see what happens here on the seventh. Luke, this could be one of the most picturesque par threes in all of golf. Who says great par threes need to be more than 150 yards? Not a single one of them. I love this hole. This putt coming up is for birdie. And racking up their fifth birdie of the day. Now leader really starting to gap the field now. Their advantage is nine shots. And a par four awaits at this next hole. Quality shot, that one. Playing from around 210 yards here. Looks to be going with a hybrid here. Ah, great shot. All right, Henny. What's he got in front of him here with this putt? Yeah, he's staring down about 12 feet. He's staring down a birdie putt here. Just didn't drop. Seven feet to the cup. It's on a good line. Well, it was a wonderful approach shot, wasn't it? But unfortunately having to settle for par. And maintaining top spot on the leaderboard after that. Next up is a par four. Always a stern test. This is an interesting hole because it wants to make you aim left, but there's a bunker there that you need to avoid. Funny enough, there's a lot more room out to the right than what you can see off the tee. A very strong par four to finish the front nine. Penny, what have they got in front of them here? Yeah, he's about 155 from this whole location. Game with the 9 iron, I think. He seems to have all the wind in his sails and maximum confidence out today against Xander Shoffley. I think Xander didn't really know what he was getting himself in for after that shot. And that's for birdie. Well hold. So as we head into the back nine, Rich, what are your thoughts on this player? Luke, so far, it's been entertaining watching these two go head to head. Not too sure exactly how this is going to play out, but so far, so good. Love watching these two compete.
Oh, that is bombed. And this shot here coming up from around 130 yards. Going with the eight iron here. This is looking pretty good in the air. Well, that's well played and sets up a good birdie look here at the 10th. Oh, just missed. Now it's just about three feet away. Well, that hole's behind us. More to play. And after that hole, this player is ahead by a whopping ten strokes. Time to tee off on the 11th. Thankfully, a breather hole after the last few. This is just a three wood. Could be a driver up the hill. Second shot, very short. But beware, this green pitches severely from back to front. Watch the spin on your second shot. That's a good shot by him. He'll be delighted. What are we looking at for this putt, Henny? Yeah, they've left it in the perfect spot here, just below the hole. They can be aggressive up the hill. It was on a good line. Putting for a par now. And that puddle drop. Well done. And there's no movement on the leaderboard after that hole. Let's see what happens here at the 12th. And this is a mean one. Not going to lie. It's mean. It's right around 185 yards. But the green, once again, very tiny. You come up short in that deep bunker, you're bound to make a four. This one looks just a fraction too long to me. Let's see if we can get this one up and down for par. Oh, that's frustrating. Well, this would be a good one to make. It's for par. This looks good. Good putt, that. Our current leader now enjoying a nine-stroke lead. A long par four, this hole.
No harm, no foul there with that shot. This shot is about 140 yards out. Looks like they're going with the pitching wedge. That dog will hunt. Okay, Henny. What's he looking at with this putt? Setting up this putt 14 feet from the cup. Be the ball, Danny. No, 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 no. Oh, what a round this is. Seven birdies today. Leading by nine strokes after that one. Looking to ride the momentum after coming off a birdie here with this shot. Oh, this is a good one. I love this par five. Just hit it just down the left-hand side. You can't reach the far bunkers down the left. Lay up with a long iron, maybe a fairway wood, but watch out. This third shot gets awfully tricky. Nicely done. Time for the second shot at the 14th. Yeah, you hit a beauty, didn't you? And here we are with the third shot. And just about eight feet left to the hole. All right, guys, this for two birdies in a row. I like the look of this. Beautiful shot. Back to back birdies never hurt, Rich. Kind of like it. He's feeling it. And this is quality play, still on top of the leaderboard. We've arrived at a par four. Hitting it anywhere down the left-hand side off the tee will find one of those deep bunkers, so you need to avoid those. Hit it out to the right, which will leave a great second shot into this green. Well, that's a handy shot. Time now to play the second shot on the 15th hole. Oh, I like that strike. This one's hitting well towards the green. A nice approach shot there. Pin high inside the range. A birdie putter waits. Hang on, this looks pretty handy. Yeah, nice mid-range birdie putt, that one. Now that finds him in first place. Teeing off here on the 16th hole. Not sure if this one will stay on the short grass. Well, this rough looks to be lush and thick, doesn't it? Looks to have opted for the eight iron. Yeah, this is lovely.
that lie was so bad, I didn't think they'd be able to get it anywhere near there. Lining up the birdie putt here. bomb is there anything better in the game moments like that deserve another look i need to see this again because i still can't believe they hold that Managing to maintain their position on the leaderboard. Always positive coming off a birdie. Let's see what happens here. And choosing the eight iron here. Oh, this one should find the surface. Good shot, this. And hitting yet another green here today. It has been fantastic to watch all week long. This player is dialed in. Three feet to go here to the hole. And he just keeps putting a gap on the rest of the field. What a putt to hole. An extraordinary performance. This player is now 12 strokes in front of the field. And they'd be feeling buoyed with confidence after that birdie. Here's a good chance to maintain the momentum. So much history on this hole. Aim it at the trees right in the center and hope you don't get unlucky and get underneath one of them. From there, it's going to be a layup out to the right and just a short third shot. What a wonderful, wonderful finishing hole. Yeah, that one will play. This shot from around 210 yards. Opting for the hybrid, I think. Oh, this is on a fantastic line. Is it the right distance? Oh, right by the hole. Oh, stop it. What a shot. And Henny? What are they looking at here? Can't be too aggressive here. Take your medicine and move on. This is down the hill. That was a gallant attempt. Just three feet to the cup. And with that putt, concludes this player's round.